Hello everyone, this is Khaled from the Retro Nerd channel and welcome to part two of um, the restoration and fixing of the PS1. In the last episode, if you, if you didn't see it, you should see it. This is a continuation of that. So what we did is basically we took apart the PS1, we cleaned the motherboard, we tested the power supply and the motherboard, um, and we cleaned the case, uh, we removed all the scuffs, we, we took, put it back together and we tested it. And the last thing happened is that um, it actually reads audio CDs, but it doesn't read um, um, game uh, CDs, but at least burn game CDs. Um, so um, what are we gonna, and we also noticed that there's a loud noise when it's read disk. So in this episode, we're gonna continue from there and we'll start by um, trying to figure out what is making the noise. So let's see, we tested and try to hear, you know, the sounds. Turning on. So I think, you know, we can safely say the sound is coming. I think the spindle and the motor, both of them need, um, you know, servicing. Um, I'll just remove that. Um, anyways, and I was, you know, researching the internet and I found like a nice tutorial how to do the kind of servicing the whole head. So I think this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna ser service the whole head. I'll walk you through it and hopefully it will fix it. Also, I'll try also to clean the lens when we're done, just with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and, you know, again, be very gentle. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Remove the CD, put it away, and onto the head. Okay, so this is our head. Should have taken the power first, but you know, rookie mistake. This is really tough. Okay, so put this aside. So, so there's two Phillips screw heads here. There's two Phillips screws. We're gonna start by removing them. very small screws. Okay. Pink. Then, if I remember correctly, Okay, so there's a little clip on this side. Yep. All right. Well, and the thing I looked online, it was much easier. Okay, so as you can see, there's even dirt in the mechanism, by the way. I don't know if you can see it, but it's over here. So yeah, we need to clean that. And there's also the other, uh, you know, back side to get to the Spindle motor. So 
So I've seen that the cold one are on the back. I think they fit even in the front. Anyways. And this is the spindle motor. Now this is the lens. And it's pretty uh, hard to be honest to move it. You can see. Uh, it's skipping by the way. Okay. So this is not very good. Okay. Okay, so let me get my brush and start cleaning the parts and then we'll start lubricating them. Try to find my brush. Here's one. This is not all dirt, by the way, there is still some lubricant there. But you can see here, there is no more lubrication. It's almost dry. Okay. Spender is kind of okay. We'll lubricate it anyways. Okay. So let me get Whatever we're gonna use for lubrication, I'll show you guys. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so I washed the top parts, and now we're gonna start lubricating the thing. I'll start with a silicone spray. Um, just applying a little bit here. Okay. And you have to be careful not to get anything on the lens. And the next part is that we need to lubricate these channels. And I prepared some kind of a paste, um, which is basically a mix between um, hand Vaseline. I hope it's okay. I, I read that it's okay. And with silicone spray and sewing uh, machine oil. So basically it's just this kind of paste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Lubricate the trails here. And the idea is that, you know, silicon uh, spray is really good, but it's kind of light. And I want something to stick in this trail. side see if it moves right now it's not budging I want to move it a little bit to be able to replicate the other side. But anyways, let's name this. No, the bits that are okay. And we'll apply also a little bit of that mix on those. Just to make sure they're really always lubricated and uh, we'll see how it goes okay okay so this is for the trails now for lubricating the spindle and the motor, we're gonna use sewing uh, machine oil. Let me get the syringe. Okay. 
Okay. So the lubrication for um, the spindle is basically um, sewing machine oil. Okay, and for the motor, there's a small hole right here. Okay, so that's it. Let's remove any excess. We don't want it to drop, to drip. Okay. So, okay. So it looks very well lubricated. Okay. So I'm not gonna try to budget anymore. I'll try to put it back together and we'll see how it goes. But this is going this way. So let's put it back together. I don't, I don't remember exactly where this part was. I'm gonna check the video. Okay guys, so, sorry for the sounds. So for this cable, remember it has to go this way. And into here. I need to just a little bit of grease on my hands. Okay, so this one goes here. Just sits, there's a little groove. Okay. Let's close this. I can't find the thingy. <clears throat> okay. So now for this part. Okay. If we can, it's yes. not budget. Okay. last part which is the lens we need some isopropyl alcohol I'm gonna you know drop a few drops on it then wipe it with minimum Okay, 
it's not working. Now I'm gonna get a new cotton swab just to wipe it very gently. So let's hope we didn't ruin it. Let's put it back together and see how it sounds this time. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's hope it doesn't blow up. Okay. Grab the CD. Okay. Turning it on. Okay. Much smoother, I think. Okay, so it's definitely much smoother, but looking at the screen, which you can see guys, it's still not loading. Let me try the other disc. The one, this is the 4X speed disc. Let's see. So it's showing me the PlayStation screen, which is, you know, before just for loading the game. But it doesn't go best past that. Yeah. It just stuck on there. Okay. So what are our options? I think um so i'm gonna do another test by with the case all closed because the last time i was testing this when i closed the case it performed a little bit better and if that doesn't work the last option we have before replacing of course the head is basically um, adjusting the pot potentiometer for the laser head just lower it a little bit so it it gives basically more power so let me put it back together and do another test let's see So yeah, the same thing with the lid closed. I think our next step is clear. We have to adjust the potentiometer. So let's take it apart and try that.
Okay, guys. Now it's time to try to adjust the potentiometer. So basically what potentiometer I'm talking about, it's actually this one. Let me try to show it to you guys. So it's this one. And you basically, if you touch these two leads, they will give you the resistance between the, basically for the potentiometer. And we wanna basically uh, rotate it clockwise to lower the resistance so the laser gets more power. Uh, I'm gonna, hopefully you will be able to see the, uh, the multimeter. Um, and I will be trying to testing it. Um, and you'll probably see a little bit of montage. So let's see what value we start at. Okay, so we start with 0.96. Let me lower this, so it's like 960 ohms. Okay, so it's even lower. It's a little bit sliding, so. So the first reading is 737, which is a bit low. Let's see, probe it with this. Okay. Let's see how much it is now. Seven two five. Let's see if this makes any difference. Just like I just nudged it a little bit. It's something to push. Okay. Nope, the same.
No. Try it again. Okay, something new is happening. Oh, it's working. <laughs> okay, I don't think you can see that, guys. But mm, let me try to take the phone off the stand so you can see. There's the Crash Bandicoot. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I can't hold the phone much longer. So let me put it back together and show you the, you know when it's all connected. Okay guys, so for us what worked is um, the value of 684 ohms. Now don't take the numbers exactly, it doesn't matter the number, it's just basically just to get a, to a number that's slower than what you started with. I'm not sure if my multimeter is working correctly or not because the numbers are weird. I, I think it should be much higher even the starting one but anyways for us it's working at this and the whole point is just try to lower it a little bit by you know, like a step by step until you get it to work so this is all of it put together let's do the test and the doors open very kind of quietly which is i like something i like and closes um, let's see what happens Okay, this is what we were getting before and got stuck. Please continue. Okay, so it seems it's working. Yes! Whoa! whoa. So, yeah, it seems working. I don't have a controller connected. But, okay. Seems to work very fine. Let me grab a controller. Okay. So I grab my... Weird controller. I don't know what exactly is this cutscene. I'm trying to skip it. Okay. So that was a cutscene. I just want to see if I can play. <laughs> Please. Okay. Okay, so I don't think my controller is working. That's weird. Let me check it. Okay, so I think I got it working. Yeah. Sanity Beach. I didn't I didn't have the controller plugged in all the way because I was holding the camera. Okay, nice. So yeah, it is working guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you kind of found it useful. Um, it did, you know, take me um, a week to get this PS1 working, but now it's working. Um, yeah, and um, again, I hope you liked the video. I hope it was useful for you guys. And that's it for this lovely PS1. And probably I'll have to do a video on the controller itself, restoring it. And that's it. See you soon. Bye-bye.